Showing two videos of emulators that kind of failed on my Windows 8.1 tablet. I now want to show you the real thing. It's very unknown, nobody knows about it. I think some people will, of course, but it's a very unknown uh, uh, emulator. But I can say it's the very best. Um, it's just Android. And the coolest thing of it is that we have a nice oops, running system here that if you're gonna if you're gonna get a screen that goes to sleep such as this Windows uh, screen then uh, you must start it again but that is good because for the video we're gonna start it it's the green icon there okay I'm gonna tap it Ta -ta -ta. Ta -ta -ta. and there it goes and what you will see here is a window yeah with all versions of Android that you could use and uh, if you're on a stronger machine with more RAM of course you would go for marshmallow and we have even Android 5 Lollipop in this list. There's a bunch uh, that you can first download and after you downloaded it, it will come there, it will install and then it will be here on top. And then you can choose. As you can see, I have Marshmallow and I also have uh, Jelly Bean. And Jelly Bean runs good. So I'm gonna hit the play button. You see the little play there? I'm gonna hit it. And I'm kinda in a hurry because I need to go get ready to DJ for tonight and here it's gonna boot up the screen you see several little uh, signs here you also see a rotate sign that will you know rotate the screen into into um, let me see if I can show that to you it will rotate the screen like that it's loading And in fact, you can now minimize this, this big screen. So you have Android booting there. You see, an Android is booted and then boom. And then I'm gonna turn the screen. Uh, let me turn the screen for you all. So here, yeah. and here you can see that I have my Ubuntu launcher, but I also have my iLauncher. So I select that one and I say uh, always so and then I will double tap on this on this bar oops what did I do? one back and it's very very nice and stable as you can see it's also rooted and this one is very good peeps uh, this one I can say you should try out okay uh, also because you have the several versions of Android that you can download and run in this in this app player here you can see the functions at the site you will find some functions here but most of them you won't need when the system is running and up because uh, yeah now it's just fine and by hitting an icon such as the internet it will bring you immediately to the internet and uh, you can select your keyboard to go to Google for instance boom and you will be at Google just as easy and if we hit the home button look at that within one second you are in your home so this is the Android version that you need if you have a Windows 8.1 tablet with one gigabyte of RAM this is way to go Okay, so go ahead and play with it. It's it's really stable. It reacts very fast. If you click the home, you get home immediately. It, no waiting times, you see. And I'm not sure if the cam works. 
we should have a cam in here okay cam is not working that is just fine oh it was no cannot connect to the cam but you can see that uh, this all is working good so um, I think this is a way better uh, emulator to go for remember this is the home okay if you if this home is failing go for this one this one will always bring you home okay so let's make the screen smaller again let's make it bigger again you see you cannot get oh yeah now you can get into it so it needed to fix itself a little bit so uh, this is it peeps the xamarin uh go the xamarin android player nexus 7 jelly bean this is the rom that you were looking at and of course the launcher is the pukram launcher i launcher powered um we also have one mobile market and this is uh i think the very best android player you can get for any windows 8.1 tablet out there okay there were some moments that i thought hey oh gosh i'm failing bad on cam and uh yeah what am i doing and why am i even trying but i can say and i can confirm this what i'm showing i'm not gonna uninstall it i really like it really i do uh, i really love this work of xamarin so i want to say to all the people there at xamarin uh, 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 developers team all all you guys out there thumbs up thank you so much uh, i think we need some some more improvement here and there because in fact now my screen is kind of black so <laughs> we must uh, improve it here and there a little bit and you should not turn the screen around maybe you should turn off uh, uh, your your um oh there it is again it's back maybe you should turn off your your uh, little how you call it uh your your auto rotation i think you can turn it off i think you should turn it off um because you already have the auto rotate uh, in here built in it's built in in into the menu the auto rotate and uh, I, I think this is yeah it, it does not boot uh, in this size uh, out of the box you will have to double tap and you will have to find your way how to work with it but i can say it's workable and it's stable and at least uh, we can do some things uh, with it and i think this is the ultimate way uh, how to you know run android on your windows 8.1 device uh, peeps i want to thank you for watching i must go now i must get ready because i still have 30 minutes and i must still eat and make myself some vegetables I'm always a little bit late but the people are used to that so uh, once again thanks for watching go check it out Samarin that's it that's what you need and that's what I'm gonna use uh, to have Android on my Windows 8.1 tablet with one gigabyte of RAM thanks for watching see my next video